Okay, we're here at our Cape Cobra's enclosure. Um, for like the last week, she's been digging around a lot. I really try to give her a different nesting sites. So obviously gave her this nesting site over here with some peat on a warm spot. She was digging around here quite a bit, trying to make her own thing. And then I put in a box here and made the soil damp. So I had a look with a torch and it looks like we've got some eggs. So we're just gonna try and carefully work her out here without trying to get things too dirty. I just want to try and clean all the sand off so that it doesn't end up falling falling on her. We've got some customers who are having a look, see what's going on. Okay. Alright. Time for the reveal. I am hoping that she is finished. Okay. Looks like she's still actually busy laying. You can see these eggs are very, very thin. There's two duds there, but there are three good ones so far. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put this top back on, let her finish. I don't want to disturb her. She still looks like she's quite full of them. Last year she also gave us these very, very thin pop eggs and they actually hardened up quite nicely and got a bit thicker. But you can see all, I don't know if you can see, but all the blood vessels and everything in here. So I'm just going to put this box back on and uh, hopefully she'll finish by the end of the day so we can take them out, put them in the incubator. But very, very cool. Maybe just grab a picture quickly. Yeah, so this is quite a weird um, coloration for Cape Cobras. It's not too common. Don't know exactly which area they came from. I bought these as captive uh, adults from years back. I've had them for about eight years and they were massive adults. This female is about two meters long. And the, the male that I had her with, he's got, he's white with brown speckles. It's very interesting looking. So I'm probably going to keep a couple of these babies. Okay, let's get two nice pictures. Okay, I think the first six years I had them, she would just drop duds every single year. So I don't know why all of a sudden she's dropping better eggs. They've been in this enclosure for four years. So. Just shows the old girls can still do it. Okay, so we're just going to leave her to do her own thing. And then we'll come check again later. Okay, so we it's the end of the day. We're just going to see if we got some more eggs from her now. Oh, yes. Wow, that is, that is a nice clutch. And she's still going. <laughs> I think she's still got a few left in her. Okay, awesome. Now I just forgot the egg box, so I'm gonna have to go back to get that. We're gonna load some of them in there. Okay, so we got the egg box. Now the trick is just to get them away from her. I think she's got her head pretty well buried. And last year I was actually actually just picking them up taking eggs away from her gently and she was fine I even took a picture of catching one of the eggs straight from her okay so I just want to find out exactly where her head is gone like she's buried herself oh there we go so here's her head on the side okay a lot of a lot of snakes while they're busy still laying can be in a bit of a trance she's obviously hissing she knows I'm here I just want to try and work gently around her steal all of her eggs 
Yeah, they're actually looking really better than the ones we you know, checked earlier. They're not as transparent. They're still very, very soft. Okay. So, this is something, obviously, you know, a little bit risky, but I do know this snake and she is pretty chilled. And I've done this, as I say, last year. So I'm obviously just watch her body and just pull my hands away. She's got her head buried underneath herself. So she's not going to be able to get out of that position too quickly. Okay, oops, that one rolled a little bit. But this one does look like a little bit of a dud. So we'll put it on the sideline there. We'll just give it a chance, but you can see it's quite a lot clearer. Because those ones, I can actually see the veining and everything inside of them. Alright, I'm just taking one more girl. He's a good girl. Okay. So we always want to put the eggs up in the same uh, position as you get them. And then uh, I'll see if I can actually show you the how the veining and everything is. Okay, I don't know if you're able to see that. There we go. So, you can see all nice blood vessels and everything going on in there. So these are nice fertile eggs. Even the one that looks like a dud is actually fertile. But that might not make it. We'll see how it goes. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, and she might still be going and we'll check that tomorrow morning. Cool. So that's our Cape Cobra, Naja Nivea, speckled variety, pretty cool. Definitely going to be keeping some more of these back. Okay, there's a female from last year. I mean, a, a baby, sorry. Yeah, so here's a baby Cape Cobra from her from last year. You can see the sort of speckled patterns. I'm hoping they get a bit of a better color. But uh, very nice feisty little ones. They're eating like champions. Very, very feisty. Obviously he's scared, just wanting to protect himself. So he's trying to intimidate me. He thinks I'm gonna come and try and eat him. All right, so, and then this is one from the yellow, the yellow breeding. Stunning, beautiful color. I'm hoping she actually, well, I still haven't sexed these. Um, I'm hoping that this actually keeps a bit of the speckled markings. Because the adults was a bright yellow, bright, bright dark yellow, and a very, that was the female, and the male was a very pastel pale yellow. And this is, So this one looks like it's going to be an absolute stunner. Kind of wishing I kept a few more of these ones back. I just kept one of each. I have a little bit too much stuff to look after sometimes. So I was thinking maybe we just stick with the one of each. But now I'm wishing I kept a couple more of them back. But cool, we'll see how these develop in time as well. Okay, these are the Cape Cobra eggs that we took out it's been about 63 days I think they started hatching yesterday but we overlooked it so most of them have hatched we've just got these these two left and they haven't slit yet so I just want to make sure that we can give them a nice little window for escape so we can have a look see what's in here A little bit of blood vessels, very messy business. Yeah, 
this is the you know this egg does not actually smell very good so maybe this one just didn't develop fully or make it but the blood is the blood is still sort of clear it's not an off color so we can what we can do is just open this up a little more just see if we can see where's the head okay this one is a deformed one okay so that does happen that one just wasn't meant to be so let's have a look see at this one we're lucky this is the second year in a row third clutch in the last two years that we've managed to breed our Cape Cobras. See now this egg looks a little bit better. So what we want to do is just look for a little bit of life. And a much better, clearer liquid, healthy blood vessels and all but uh, you know, no guarantees that it's not uh, deformed or anything okay there's a bit of the egg sac Sometimes it's so difficult to tell because they don't squirm, but I thought I felt a little something there. It's so slimy and slippery. Okay. Yep, okay, there he is. He's just twitching around, so this one's alive. Okay, so now at least it's got that little window, so we'll, we'll check on it tomorrow morning. Hopefully little head will be showing. There is quite a bit of yolk. So I mean, even if this one stays in for a day or two, I've had a couple snakes. Once you open the window, they still stay in there. You can see it's moving about now. So this one is alive. It looks all right. Okay. So here are our little babies. We've got nine in here. So you can see the little baby cape cobras all got that little black band across the neck and they get their adult coloring as they get older. These are from speckled parents so you can see the body's quite speckly already. So they should keep that sort of markings.